Welcome to the Searching Medline video. In this video, we will talk you through the process of searching Medline via Ovid. You've probably heard the phrase, go to Medline via Ovid, and wondered what Ovid is and where you need to go. Ovid is a search platform. It's an interface that you can use to search a number of different databases. Because Ovid is not a database in itself, you'll need to search for the database directly. For example, type Medline or Embase in Quick Search. You can click the Change button to see the full range of databases. The list includes Medline, Embase, Cochrane Trial Registries, PsycInfo, ERIC, and so on, each with their own collections of research literature. For anyone who opens Medline for the first time, it may look incomprehensible and a little intimidating. Where do I start? Well, at least there is a search bar, as in any other database or Google. You may be tempted to type your entire topic as a sentence into the search bar, as you would in Google. However, this is not the best way to use Medline or any other database on Ovid. To search effectively, you will need to approach things differently than Google. Medline allows you to be very specific in your search, so you only get the most useful and relevant results for your topic. Before you start searching, make sure that you have a concept table in front of you. This will help you to keep track of your search terms. Type your first term into the search bar. The Map Term to Subject Headings checkbox should be ticked by default, and click Search. You'll be taken to a new page, where there may be a few different terms that are relevant to your topic. This is how Medline describes or indexes the term you've entered. The terminology that the database uses may be different to what you've searched for. It's important that you don't select all relevant terms at once. Instead, select the most appropriate term and make a note of the other relevant terms in your concept table. You'll come back to them later. To make sure that the subject heading is relevant to your search, you can check its definition by clicking on its scope note. Here, you'll also find more synonyms or alternate ways of describing this concept, which you can actually add to your concept table. This will help to make your search more comprehensive. Looking at the scope note, you can also see if the definition for this term has changed over time, and how it might have been previously categorised. Next, click on the selected term to see where it is located in the Medline thesaurus, or mesh tree. You can see why it's called a tree. The terms are branching out from the broadest term, with the narrower terms indented to the right. Exploring the mesh tree will help you to improve your search strategy. You may realise that the term you are using is too narrow, too broad, or just right. The tree will guide you to the right term, and help to confirm that you're on the right track. While looking at the mesh tree, you will need to decide whether you want to explode a search term or not. When you explode a term, your search will include all the narrower, or more specific terms indented, underneath a broader term even those hidden under the plus signs. If a term has no narrower terms, there's nothing to explode. You can only select the term itself. If there are only a few narrower terms under a term that you've selected, you may tick all of them instead of exploding. If you want to tick just a few terms selectively, and leave out all the irrelevant terms, you can do this too. Using the explode function will always increase the number of results in your search. You may have noticed a focus function next to explode, although this isn't commonly used. By selecting to focus a search term, you're asking the database to retrieve results where this term is tagged as a major concept. Although this way of narrowing your search will allow you to quickly find highly relevant articles, we do not recommend this function in comprehensive searches. Once you've explored the mesh tree and decided whether or not to explode a term, click continue to move to the next step. Subheadings offer a quick way to limit your search to a range of pre-existing topics. The available topics will differ from term to term. Like the focus function, selecting only a few subheadings is not recommended for comprehensive searching. In almost all cases, we recommend including all subheadings by ticking the box at the top of the screen. Next, click Continue. Congratulations, you've mapped your first term and now have the first line of your Medline search. Continue mapping the search terms that belong to your first concept, located in the same column in your concept table, until you are confident that there are no more relevant subject headings. In a comprehensive search, we complement a subject heading search with a keyword search. While subject headings describe the meaning of an article, keywords retrieve articles that mention the exact term in the article record. This means that with keyword searching, you will usually retrieve more results, but not all will be relevant. When searching with keywords, you can add field codes to your search to tell the database which parts of the record to search. To search across a number of fields in the record, use the multi-purpose field code, or .mp. To limit your search to the title and abstract only, use the text word field code, or .tw. Check the help section of the database to learn more about different field codes. 
If you are getting few results through subject headings, you can expand your search by using a range of different keywords. This type of searching is also important for topics that are not well represented in MISH due to its biomedical subject focus, or they could be emerging areas of research. Once you've searched for subject headings and all the relevant keywords for the first concept in your concept table, it's time to combine these searches with the Boolean operator OR. Repeat the same process for the second concept and the third, and then combine the ORD lines with the Boolean operator AND. When you've finished building your search, you may choose to limit or refine your search further. Ovid provides a range of limits to add to your search, but you need to make sure that you only limit once you've entered all your search terms. The most commonly used limits have shortcuts on the front page of the Ovid interface, and more can be found by clicking on the Additional Limits button. Here you can limit your search results to particular study types, including systematic reviews, by selecting Systematic Reviews from Publication Types. If you want to make changes to your search strategy, you have the option to edit it line by line. You can also add or delete lines in your search. Note that adding or deleting lines will have a flow-on effect on the number of lines overall, and you will need to amend OR or AND lines in your search accordingly. This is where the concept table is helpful, to make sure that you've included all terms in a concept before moving to the next one. Before saving your search, you will need to create an account, where you can save your searches from all databases on Ovid. To save your complete search strategy, click on Save All. Log in, give your search a name, ensure that you include the date and the database, and click Save. You can save parts of the search strategy, for example Concept 1, Concept 2, and so on, by ticking the boxes and clicking Save. This way, you can adjust your search more easily. Remember that Ovid times out after 15 minutes of inaction, so don't forget to save your search before having a coffee break. To run a saved search, open Medline, go to View Saved, log in, find the search you want to run, tick the box above it, and click Run. If you saved your search concept by concept, tick all corresponding saved searches, and then click Run. Make sure that you run your saved searches in an empty Ovid interface, Otherwise, your saved searches will build on top of your last search. If you want to share your search strategy with your supervisor or a librarian, you can export it to a Word document. To do so, make sure that the relevant line of your search is highlighted, then select one record from the results list. Then click Export. The file format usually defaults to Microsoft Word. Just make sure to tick Search History, then click Export. Open the Word doc file and delete the record information, and your search strategy is ready to go. We recommend having EndNote open when you're exporting citation information from databases. In Ovid, the maximum number of results that you can export to EndNote at any one time is 1000. To export your results, click on All for numbers less than 1000. For large searches, you can set up a range, starting with 1 to 999, and export your results in a few goes. Click Export, then select EndNote from the drop-down format menu. In the Fields, we recommend selecting Complete Reference then clicking Export. This will allow you to see both the abstract and the subject headings in EndNote. This is very handy. The way that EndNote files download will depend on your device and browser. Usually you will need to double click on it and then add it to your EndNote library. For comprehensive searching, we recommend running your search in multiple databases. While you can use the Ovid interface to search a number of databases, each will have its own features and use different subject headings. Therefore, we do not recommend rerunning a search from one database in another. Start by creating a search in one database, then select another and recreate your search using the particular features of that database. For example, in Embase, you will not find the term paediatric obesity. Instead, you will be selecting childhood and adolescent obesity from the M-tree, the Embase equivalent of the MeSH tree. The more you practice, the better your search skills will become. Remember to search for terms one by one, map them to subject headings first, then search for corresponding keywords. Best practice is to search for all terms describing one concept, or them, proceed with another concept, or the terms again, and then combine or lines with AND. Lastly, you can apply limits after you've combined all concepts using AND. Good luck!